Evan, this comes just one week after Governor Stitt delayed the execution for Glossop until February. Glossop's attorneys continue to argue that he's innocent and that he wasn't involved in any way in that murder for hire plot of his boss, Barry Van Treese extraordinarily grateful, deeply, deeply grateful. And to be honest, that doesn't even seem to truly capture um, what we're really feeling right now. Richard Glossip's wife, Leah Glossip, reacting to the governor's decision to delay her husband's execution. But today, one of two petitions to get an evidentiary hearing to prove Glossip's innocence was denied by the Criminal Court of Appeals. Glossip was convicted in a murder for hire plot in 2004, a jury finding him guilty of hiring Justin Sneed to murder Van Treese. Don Knight, Glossop's attorney, told us in a statement his client deserves a fair hearing, but the state is desperate to make sure it doesn't happen. Attorney General John O'Connor continues to stand behind the conviction of Glossop, telling us he is relieved that one more stage in litigation is behind the state. This petition, which focuses on Glossop's accuser recanting his statements, is still pending. No ruling yet here from the Oklahoma Criminal Court of Appeals on this petition.